All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Legend, Legend of the Galactic, Galactic Heroes, Heroes, episode 88. We are uh -huh. into the final segment of the story. We've mm -hmm. got a wonderful new OP and ED, mm -hmm. especially mm -hmm. that ED. Mm -hmm. We met with the Mittermeyers. And yes, we we're got trying some... to keep up with them. Exactly. Yes, yes. And, and we had a wholesome wholesome dinner and, and just evening with them. Yes. Mariendorf was not present for... It after you know, like she she was there at the beginning and then she left and it's like Reinhardt, what's wrong with this it's picture? Okay, There's an okay. empty seat right he'll, there. He'll 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 kind of feel that that hole eventually yeah. and just be like, hmm, wait a minute, this is not right. But we also got some backstory with uh, Wolf and mm -hmm. and how he met uh, Reinhardt and everybody. But then we had a bit of ominous stuff at the end with Ruintal, and it's like, Very yo, apt, given that this was a Mittermeier focused episode, mm -hmm. right? But does that mean we're getting a Ruintal focus episode too? Possibly. I think in some ways this might be that wrap up, you know, kind of final season where it's like, oh, we're going to go and catch up with all the characters. All 200 that are characters. Like the, the side characters specifically. Right. And then we can have the main character wrap up stuff. That's, yeah. you know, they're all like sprinkled throughout the side character mm -hmm. stories, of course. Yep. But um, yeah, that could be cool. It but would. Y'all, yeah. without further ado, let's get into this. All right, everyone, now be sure to go check out the reaction portion of the video in the description below, then come back here for the discussion. All okay. right, okay, so we had a really cool uh, kind of episode talking about inheriting right. uh, uh, things, Could be they will, feelings, mm -hmm. uh, desires, ambition, goals, yep. um, political principles. Um, <laughs> sure. Uh, yeah, the desire to influence and affect history in a positive way for the human race. You know, there's a lot of things that you could get into with this episode because we basically just had everyone still continuing to deal with what what aspects of, you know, them holding on to the flame of what what Yang left behind. Like how do they then bear that? Right. Know? And and it's very important since with the previous episode we got kind of the establishment of the conflict for this final section of the story from the Empire's perspective. Right. We also need that for the Iserlan Republic government, right? Exactly. Need it for the other just side. Just formed. Just formed. What is their primary mission? Just exactly. killing Reinhardt is not really a great goal. That's like, yeah, exactly. Right. Even even if they maybe wish for him to be dead, that's when it comes right down to it, one, they can't really do that. No. Two, I mean, you know, maybe kill Reinhardt, but definitely not defeat yeah. the Empire in any kind of military sense. Mm -hmm. Um, but then how do they reconcile that with the fact that they want to still champion, you know, Republic democracy, democracy and yeah. all that? So I here we go. They're yeah. going to try and go for the cultural victory, right? Yeah. We have some some semblance of peace right now, mm -hmm. however long it lasts. Let's see if we can use this as a way to negotiate a change from within the Empire. Yeah. Cool. And, and what's really exciting about this is that by keeping it to a constitution, that is something that would work somewhat, actually, even for uh, an autocratic empire yep. of sorts. Mm -hmm. Because... You know, a constitution is ultimately just a, a set vision. of yeah, a, a set of principles and you know mm -hmm. codified ways in which yep. the governing peoples govern. Right. So so it's it's something that absolutely works. The slight difference is that if you have someone who has full dictatorial power like Reinhardt and that mm -hmm. he can, you know, lay the out just say, here's the constitution. This is what it is. The people might the not people, hold to it. Yeah, exactly. The yeah. people might not exactly feel like it represents them because the principles are those that were just mm -hmm. divvied out by one person. But yep. because Reinhardt is such a great... Um, orator and leader and... Or, well, order yeah. leader and what is one thing. He'd be good at convincing people about it for the most part. But I think the other part is that he's a great delegator. Is that uh, I don't sure. even think he would write it up. No. I think he would actually task Mariendorf. people like Mariendorf <laughs> or Oberstein, sure. or even in some ways some oh, of the up and coming younger oh, politicians, man. can you to each take specific parts sure. of some kind of a constitution for a hey when I am gone, these are the principles upon which we should govern. Yep, mm -hmm. and like I kid you not, there is a possibility that if they go for this style mm -hmm. here. Julian could hand over Iserlon sure. to someone and be like, you're in charge of this. 
I am going to go and politic my way in the empire. Yep, yep. That is, that is an to become, absolute possibility. I'm going to become someone that, well, Trunit's kind of showing the example of sure. what to do. Yeah. I'm going to go and present myself as a, yeah. Right useful person there potentially there, there i are... would love i would love to see that because we could have reinhard mm -hmm. taking a, a look at like you're telling me yang's protege uh -huh. is entering the political sphere here you, you know like, what i would like to see even what? more i would like to see frederica do that oh frederica instead mm -hmm. because... frederica i could see doing that just as well mm -hmm. in fact probably better because she's more of the politician yeah i could but... I could see it, though, being a thing of where the relationship dynamic would not be as high potential between Reinhardt and Greenhill uh, as sure, it would because between Reinhardt and, and Julian, because it's the young military leader and all that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what, yeah. One thing that I just you, you mentioned the whole thing of who would who would Reinhardt delegate to work on the Constitution. Can you just imagine the absolute uproar and and the 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 trembling fists within the M oh, imperial the military within the admiralty if Oberstein if was... Oberstein was tasked with writing a constitution for the no 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 not the whole thing <laughs> just parts of it well because the thing is I could see him because Oberstein really... I'd say was actually probably one of the It'd most really logical people yep to and put towards that right and for drafting a legal document that makes yeah. sense right yeah. And at the same time, that would be so hilarious. But, I mean, that's the thing. You can't... I mean, you could have... Mm -hmm. Constitutions are big. Like, oh, yeah. You yeah. cannot you cannot put it all to seven pages. I, I, I don't know any constitutions off the top of my head that come even close to that number. You have to put a ton, a ton, a ton, mm -hmm. a ton of documentation into it. So, the idea of what they're kind of doing right now... Mm -hmm in the Isolon Republic is practice potentially for what they could try and present as in, you know, as something immutable, as something eternal, not eternal really, but something right. that is um, it, it, a bedrock that is better exactly. than a human being. Right. Because, um, it, uh, you know, beneath this mask is more than flesh, right? You know, yeah. ideas are bulletproof. Right. That's, um, that's something where, where Reinhardt, as amazing as he is, he is still flesh and blood, right? Mm -hmm. If someone randomly got lucky and assassinated him, right? Yeah. You know, what, just, what happens, yeah, right? Or he just starts to get old and sure. gets dementia or at yep. the very least maybe starts to be so affected by his loneliness that mm -hmm. he, he comes under a form of mental illness. Yep. And it's just, anything could happen, right? Yeah, yeah. And and one of the things that I find so so satisfying about this is that what's the big thing that has kept Ruintal in check? Mm -hmm. In a lot of ways, it's just the splendor of Reinhard, right? Yeah, yeah. Would Ruintal be able to be equally impressed by a um, by a concrete set of ideals that was basically put forth by Reinhard? Um, because no, I think he would be yeah. less impressed. Okay, probably, but I would say the fact that that could be a thing that I could see Reinhard doing mm -hmm. at some point in the future. I think if it came somewhat from Reinhard, Ruinthal would be like, you continue to right. surprise me. Right, like, like how? Like, yeah, I could yeah. never have predicted this. Right, like, because, you know? because if, you, if you think about it, the fact yeah. that Reinhard is, is ruling as, an, as a dictator, that is, um, that is, that's pretty awesome. Dictator of the universe, all right? Cool, mm -hmm. cool, cool, cool. But what if he managed to actually start to relinquish his, his own, own dictatorial power, power and yet he still was the sort of supreme leader of the universe, right? I, not not through not through force and right-handed power, well, but you I, know, I, like I mean, that would be that would be the part where in Ruin some ways, would probably in some just ways like, he actually couldn't. Sure, he would yeah. have to fully relinquish that, mm -hmm. and then like yeah, and then and and who knows how that would go, you know, right? Not present himself immediately up for election, you know, where it's like sure, yeah, sure, I'm going to then go into this yeah. uh you know, you know establish a race. term limit or you know who knows you know i don't know yeah oh yeah 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 sure but mm -hmm. i'm still thinking like how would he make it more of an autocratic kind of system where it's based on merit with regards to mm -hmm. uh something that he would maybe determine right. rather than it being a true you know you know elected officials you right. know because... kind of set up there where <laughs> yeah. it's more of like the not <laughs> <laughs> Not like, oh, we're going to have the Hunger Games and, you know. Exactly. But, but like, some kind of thing of where uh, you need to have, like, I mean, 
If you have to have like Who this knows? much military experience. You need to have like this much, you know, civil experience. You right. need to have you know There's... all this other stuff there, and then you have all these people clamoring to fill in the spreadsheet. Oh God. Yeah. And Ugh. then, you know, maybe there's a council of, you know, uh, right. 12 that they are. And then the know, council, you know, gets corrupted or the system gets Yeah, there's played, so many or, you know, ways. There's like, so many ways it could go. Horribly, screwy. horribly wrong. Yeah, so so it's more of a thing of where I think that this is a long shot mm -hmm. by the Isolon Republic. But the idea of a of a combined, like, set of principles upon mm -hmm. which... Reinhard could pass on, it would be something as an alternative to the, hey, the nobility of Reinhard. Uh, yeah. Oh, Reinhard's uh -huh. child. Yep. Oh, they yep. will exactly. be the one that inherits all. What? Right. What? And even if, no. and, and let's say even in the ideal situation where like, let's say that Ruintal happened to just be like a perfect successor and you could train him up and he could be your next one. One, he's much older than you, so he would last even less time, right? Mm -hmm. um, but two, that's not duplicatable, right? You can't do no. that again because you're not going to be at war. So how do you figure out who's actually like a good responsible person that could lead things, right? Yeah. So, you know, it doesn't necessarily work. But yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I really just want. Mariendorf, like please just 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 pass this on to Mariendorf. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. Uh, I know. But I but know. anyway, anyway, we have things going on with the Church of Terra. Indeed. And Boris Konev has passed along the info mm -hmm. that is relevant yep. to Yang's uh yes, assassination. And then immediately to Julian out. and company. Yep. Okay. They know mm -hmm. that means that on their home turf, Heinison, there are snakes. And there are there are rats. Oh yeah. There are there is festering shit in the soil, and it's not the kind that's gonna you know mm -hmm. you know uh, provide a, a fertilizer basically. Right. Like I, we need to burn this shit out. I love the the image of Ruintal just sort of standing like you know amidst Heineson or something like mm -hmm. that, and there's snakes and cockroaches like going all about right. his legs, and then eventually he has to like. You know, every, every now and then he has to, like, squish one under his foot. He's like, like sorry, my brother. Right. <laughs> but, like, like I'm I'm very excited to see how that whole conflict plays out. Because because for Reinhardt, I want him to have, like, the the, the, the peace, you know, side of things, right? So that mm -hmm. that way he can look inward and, and all of that stuff, right? But with Ruintal, I feel like this will legitimately be a really good, like, a really good, like, challenge for him, right? To, to be able dealing to... Dealing with the Church of Terra. Dealing with the Church of Terra and Trunit and all of that in a way that doesn't you know, make things explode, right? Yeah. Not not just getting rid of them, but getting rid of them in a with finesse, right? Yeah. And the fact that Julian and the the Iserlon Republic government also have a very vested interest in not just mm -hmm. Trunit, but also the Church of Terra being taken out. Right. That could be a way for them to start cooperating on something because sure. the enemy of my enemy, right? You know, we both, you know, the you know that the Empire didn't have anything to do with Yang's death there. So like So we're motivated as well and we mm -hmm. can help you Yep. Look good basically to the people of exactly. Heineson by, you know, uprooting this whole thing. Yep. Finding Yang's killers. Right. There is a there there's a way where both win. exchange here. Yeah, exactly. exactly. I, I really think that that's a that's a good point. And I also love the idea that they brought up how uh Julian is not jealous of Yang. Mm. He has no jealousy in him there, but he wishes that Yang was still alive and here yeah. being able to help him and stuff. Mm -hmm. But the idea of holding in tandem both the desire to carry on Yang's will. But I want some revenge too. Like yeah. I, I very oh, much man. I very much want vindication and yep. and uh those uh spineless cowards to be right. you know brought to justice. And and what I love about this is that it's something that it like it, it very much just feels like the perfect conflict because oh, one okay. Julian's young, right? So he's he's hot headed, he sees things in more black and white and things like that. And well he has he has matured a lot very quickly and everything and, and gotten wise beyond his years because of his time with Yang and whatnot. Mm -hmm. The desire for violence, right? Mm. There are times when it might be needed. In this situation, the Church of Terra and, you know, yeah. like, they, they got to go. Love exactly, balance. right. Sure. And yet, is this necessarily, like, something that you want to focus right. on, right? Are there better things that you could direct, ways that you could direct your energy? And yet, this, see, this is the thing that um, seems a lot more doable, right? Yeah. Because even getting the Empire to adopt a constitution, that is a Tall freaking order. big task, right? Yeah. Now, it's... it's actually achievable as opposed to military conflict victory, right? right? Yeah. But 
still, that's um. We went from a one in ten thousand to a one in a thousand. Right. Exactly. Ten tupled your chances, right? Yep. yep. But but still, it's one but in still, a thousand. It's gonna right. Be, it's going to be rough. And yeah. the rough thing about this is that you're probably just going to plant the seeds. You're probably sure. not going to actually see it, short of. Short of, in my opinion, mm -hmm. the only way this comes about is if Reinhardt dies and they don't have a plan in place. Oh, shoot. If that, I mean, if that happens, they're kind of screwed, aren't they? No, 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 no. Of course they're screwed. But that's the kind of chaos that would make things in the Empire able to just, like, flip uh, that quickly. The, I, I that's could... the kind of thing where they could actually see the change implemented mm -hmm. is that if Reinhardt dies, the natural, I would say, progression is mm -hmm. that you get two states. You have Ruin Tall's area, okay, and they self-govern. They don't go to war immediately with the other side, but then the other side of things then becomes something that could very quickly form into a nobility with all these people that have been set up mm -hmm. as, you know, different leaders within, you know, aspects of the yeah. the empire's state, and in some ways you'd have to quickly determine that we're not going to be, you know at war with Ruintal mm -hmm. or something right. like that, in that we're either going to yeah. be two nations or, or at the very least, we need to come together at a summit and mm -hmm. have everyone important, everyone we can get, even potentially someone from Iserlon, uh -huh. show up and talk about what the future of the galaxy will be. Because... The because no one would want war again. No, no, and and I and I really hope that war doesn't happen again because I feel like if it happens at this point, they won't be able to actually um yeah they won't be able to actually end it. It took it took two um basically miracle workers being born in the same era in order to end this war. Yeah. However long this peace lasts. Yeah. If, so if it if it isn't enough, if it goes back to war, I don't I don't think I don't right. think you know we'll have we'll yeah. have the the. The and, women foppery to be able to put put it to peace again. So so I, I'm with you. I'm with you. But what I'm saying is that if things go the way we think they're going to go, mm -hmm. which is that Reinhardt will die at mm -hmm. some point before the show ends, the people that who are on the Empire side of things and are in Reinhardt's corner, specifically people like Ruintal, Mariendorf, Oberstein, Meyer, uh -huh. yeah. a whole bunch of others, right? They would need to basically quickly take the situation and go, we're not going to war again. Sure. What we're going to do is right. figure out something that can replace Reinhard, mm -hmm. but not to make things exactly like the way they were under Reinhard. We have to make sure they're different so that mm -hmm. people don't look at this and go, right. this is nothing like Reinhard. It's like, no, obviously this will be nothing like Reinhard because mm -hmm. it's not Reinhard. Yeah. And a constitution is something that could theoretically... I be possible then i absolutely agree yeah. and 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 if anything the the way where i think julian actually has a decent chance of getting this to work mm -hmm. is is that i think unless uh, assuming uh, assuming friends. well sure but assuming reinhardt doesn't die in in like a surprising way right that, oh, okay. that he that he isn't killed you know um sure. that he basically just grows old fades away whatever right even if it's like some sickness even if he's dead in 10 years as long as it's something that he can see coming i think he will then take the necessary steps in order to try and make sure that the the empire that he set up is maintained mm -hmm. and i think a constitution is a pretty logical like tool to use to that end so yeah. I, I could i could see yeah. reinhard being being interested in that idea um yeah i i think i think he would I think the thing, though, is that I don't think he would implement it. I don't think he yeah. would actually implement it. I don't think it would get implemented until he's dead. I Maybe. think it would be something that he would have a very hard time actually selling to people, and he would present the idea, but I don't think as many people would be actually be up for it. I think he could present it pretty damn well. Like, no, I think he could, but I don't think he would present it beyond those like initial... like few oh yeah and maybe the only person that would actually be up for it is mariendorf i don't know he loves his grand speeches though like yeah but like and mm -hmm. and and the people have started to like you know warm up to him quite a bit yeah because i feel like i feel like in the in the in the commentary type stuff that that this show gets into about the idea of of um uh autocratic versus versus democratic it's something where um there are there are issues with democratic stuff that makes people then desire for the autocratic for a bit as just to you know quick and dirty get things done right but then mm -hmm. you go into much worse territory if the 
if the autocracy sticks around, right? If you if you are continually under a dictatorial rule. Right. So I feel like there there's probably going to come a point where Reinhardt then realizes that and it's the the best thing I can do is actually to relinquish this. So well, that's that that, what he's been doing. He's been doing that really right. slowly. Yes, Very yes, to, slowly. to kind of warm people up to it and things like that because you don't want someone to be able to quickly undo the things that you did. Right, right. But I, I think the I think the point of it is not to go for some grand goal. Okay. I, I think the I think the uh I think the main point is that he's moving things along in such a way that builds the infrastructure of the empire a lot more. Right, because it's just gone through a bunch of war and things like yeah, that. So yeah, it needs exactly. to be healthy. Yeah. Yeah. And that kind of infrastructure um building requires delegation, which mm -hmm. diminishes your power base slightly naturally because then you elect essentially yourself specific right. people to be put in these positions to go and govern that stuff there it still sure. is you know pretty much an autocratic you know dictatorial system because he's the one who has right. the final say on everything and yeah. can just go this is that this is that this is that mm -hmm. it feels it feels very much like or did you have something else to say no, that's it okay it, it feels very much like a um like a like almost like a Ooh, no, this no, this has a maybe a dirty connotation, but a business that's about to go public. And it's like and it's like he's setting up like a board of directors or things like that, all the people that can like that can manage things and whatnot. And eventually this democracy of one is going to become a democracy of many with all the people that he himself has specifically set up. And then Yeah, possibly you know, hopefully it'll Yeah, I I, I I still think that he's actually more set up actually a bit of a nobility unintentionally right you'll have all, to... of, all of them have been given power fiat like just boom you have it mm -hmm. there's no election there's no nothing there and there's nothing to say that they have a way in which they will be able to then you know by themselves choose who comes next after them yes if and... anything they'll all look back to reinhardt and be like um i need a replacement yep and... i'm too old now sure. i can't do this job anymore and if reinhardt's not around then no one gets it yep and there's and and once you're in peace, because it was bred from wartime, it makes sense that those positions would come about because they showed themselves to be capable. But since that's not duplicatable in peace, then it has the same effect of the nobility where you have the people that have power and that will never change, right? They they right. might pass it on to people or whatever, but people that don't have power won't be able to ascend into that position yeah. because it was originally based on wartime. Yeah, exactly. So mm -hmm. so in in that respect, I I I don't think that Reinhard will just present something like this because yeah. it gets passed along to him i feel like it needs to be something where he meets his own weakness and his own limitations sure and yeah. he realizes within himself that his own merits fall short at specific right. areas yeah find something so that in in a moment of clarity i can set an ideal also for myself as well as for the galaxy and the empire that i rule yeah. that way yeah, yeah, and yeah. then the other people around him can be a little bit better at codifying exactly what that means. Mm -hmm. Because yep. I'm guessing, in a lot of ways, Reinhardt is strong, but he is not. Um, um, you know, he and he's self aware too. But it's a, it's an issue of, it's an issue of maybe thinking about history. Maybe mm. this is a weird way to think about it because I, I do think he thinks about history as well. But maybe that's the part where he's still slightly different from yang mm -hmm. in the way that they think about the future is that i think that yang yang looks in macro and reinhardt's a bit more like no i i, I think that i think that maybe if anything uh yang had more self-doubt yes yes so absolutely. he was he was in some ways not more pessimistic but he mm -hmm. was more self-aware to the point where right. he realized that his own weakness would basically keep him from being able to be some grand hero that would yeah. usher in the new age for humanity. Whereas yeah. Reinhard is self-aware mm -hmm. and yet he has been constantly met with success to the point that he right. knows he could probably take humanity into this new golden age. But is he so self-aware that he realizes that that is eventually going to end and uh -huh. he needs to have plans in place in order to do that? And is his setting up of his infrastructure people part of that maybe but i don't think he's thinking more than five years ahead I, I yeah I could, I could see that i think he's thinking a lot more short term yeah i feel like he's um well he wants to see here again so he might only he might only be able to think of his life as going you know five like as just five years ahead um yeah. but one of the things i i i also really liked from this episode 
even though it was it came from someone who uh did not mm. intend it this way but the the drunk guy that was that was berating julian mm, sure. and i one i love how that conflict played out with with um, Katarose. with Katarose and everything yeah. and and all the conversations surrounding that and like oh you know you, you shouldn't go you know beating people up because they disagree with you or, or sure. throwing people out because they disagree with you that's not democratic yep but the way he said you know maybe yang wasn't even a great man right mm. like yes i i agree yeah. that's the magic of yang yeah, is that exactly. he wasn't a great man yeah. reinhardt's a great man right right yang was a good one yeah exactly. yang was a good one and he just happened to be put in this position where a whole lot of stuff rested on his shoulders yeah, right if if he didn't succeed at alpha seal he wouldn't have been really anyone to nope. anybody. Nope. He just would have been some, you know, kind of semi-critical of the war. Right. Uh, you know, little little uh, officer guy, and, mm -hmm. you know. But because and, he was known as a hero in these very specific, you know, conflicts yep. and stuff, that elevated him and kept getting him put into right. these positions that he wasn't seeking out. And also because he pissed off enough people that they kept pushing him forward. Like, like yeah. it, it was. it's this wonderful, almost like birthing of the universe. Right. Of taking the person that you know absolutely would not want this kind of power, Putting and as them such, under the stress and the focus, point right? Of this like chaos. like coal per, turned into a diamond. Yeah, exactly. Because normally those people just wouldn't get power, and that's nope. how it would go. You know, right? So now, yeah, yeah. You you think on that, dude? Yes, he wasn't a great man. Do right. you want one? You're here because there is a great man over there, and you said no. I don't want that. Right. So yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's it's really really cool. Mm -hmm. Um. Lots of little bits of commentary. I love anytime Poplin and um, uh, what's his name? Attenborough. Attenborough. Yeah, yeah I believe it's Attenborough. Yeah, yeah, Attenborough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, are, are interacting in general, mm -hmm. but all, also the idea that they, specifically Poplin, mm -hmm. might even be thinking about getting elected at some point in the future. So God. he's like, "You're campaigning with the kids." Is that really like your 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 great? He's like, no, 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 no. See, see, eventually. Five head strat. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking way ahead, dude. Uh -huh. I, yep. I love that. That was hilarious. But um, uh, one of the other things is just the idea of Attenborough's just desires for the way things will go in mm -hmm. in, in the galaxy at large being something that that could theoretically happen. Yeah, it's it's something where yeah. Like I, I love that. Um, I want that guy to survive, basically. All yeah, exactly. Like, in. like it was like Attenborough. He was one of those characters that um, it was easy to kind of like forget about him and and like his importance early on in the story because mm -hmm. he was the close friend of Yang at the very beginning, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. But as Yang kept rising through the ranks, Attenborough kind of just sort of stayed where he was, he just kind of you know, stayed in the behind and and was like area. that helpful, supportive figure, right? Yeah. But but that was that was for the most part it. And now I feel like we're really starting to see now that Yang's gone, the the grand role that Attenborough plays in this narrative. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, because because I feel like him and Julian could could like together basically compile the the memoirs of of Yang. Of Yang, yeah, you know exactly. And and, and now Reinhard, you just need to also have something like that for you, and bef hopefully before you die. And maybe some of it might look like a constitution. Yeah, I I, I think. I, I still think, though, in order for that to happen, we need to bring a lot of people to the table yep. that are not Reinhard, mm -hmm. and also at least one of them be someone from the Iserlon Republic. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just not going to happen. Um, but with the uh, Church of Terra being the primary antagonistic mm -hmm. threat right now, and Trunit's uh, position now in Heinesen being something that they're aware of, I would love to see also subtlety intrigue style stuff issued out from Iserlon by maybe sending and smuggling a couple of their best, you know, mm. over to Highness and be like, we'll help, you know, we'll help you, Boris Konev, you know, we'll, sure. we'll, uh, we'll, uh, you know, do a little Shunkov's stuff like, please, Julian. <laughs> or, you know, you have people like Murai who's out there with those hey, that you sure. know, deserted and stuff and they could, you know. They could maybe do something. Maybe Possibly. Something, maybe something cool yeah. there. But yeah, y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get an early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general, and also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. We stream every weekday. The info's in the description. Yeah, so if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.